Okay, hi everybody. This is Chris Froome. I'm here at the Team Camp, Team October Camp. Um, generally, this is a this is a time for us that um, we get together every year as a as a team for for the only time during the year that we get everyone together, all riders, all staff together, and sort of review how things have gone, start planning for the year ahead. Someone who is new to it is uh, Teo here. Yeah who's um, just joining us for, for the first time. How's today for you? What, what did you get up to? Yeah, it was busy. I did uh, lots of different uh, meetings, uh, learning about nutrition and uh, doing a DEXA body comp scan, for instance, and yep. loads of different things that I've never done before. So, yeah, it feels like the start of next year already, even though it's only October and it's exciting times. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, yeah, for a lot of us, this is the, the start of the 2017 season, especially um, for me personally. I mean, the Tour de France route was, was launched last week, and that's as if almost the, the goal's already been set, something to work towards in that sense. But um, what, what are your first sort of, what are, you, what are, what are your feelings from, from being in the team so far the first day? What, what, what kind of a, a feeling around the team do you get? Yeah, I think some of the first impressions you get is the scale of it compared to a continental team there's a lot more names to remember uh, and people to meet and obviously a lot of information and experts that you can get information from whether that's experienced riders or nutritionists or physiologists and the coaching staff so yeah it's really exciting and inspiring and even last night sitting down for dinner with some of the guys and just chatting a little bit it's yeah, it's the first time I've had uh, teammates that the majority, or not the majority, but there's a lot that aren't uh, English first language as well. So that's like a new experience and it's, uh, it's all the type of things that you got to get used to being a professional bike rider, I think. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, and interesting enough, Teo was on the team as a stagiaire last year. Uh, Is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, last year. But that wasn't really the first time. Um, you, I mean... You've you've got a bit of a history with the team, haven't you? I mean, you were you were there right from the first day. Do you want to tell us about that story? Yeah, I mean, I was I think I was 13 or no 14 or yeah, I must have been 13 or 14 when the team launched. Uh, and I remember it was a really cold morning, and we did laps of uh, Le Mans outside Buckingham Palace, and all the riders were freezing, and yeah. the Jags were revving in the kind of cold air, and um, yeah, it was an amazing experience and. That was when I just first started cycling. I was working in a bike shop in London on Saturdays and I was just kind of getting to know the sport really because I didn't have any family or anything that had been involved with cycling. So I think as fans of the sport know, there's like a lot of different elements to cycling and high level bikes and all the rest of it. And that was a real formative experience for me that early morning when I bunked off school to come and ride with you guys. and try not to knock anyone off and follow follow around a little bit so that and then more recently having experiences of doing Mallorca training camp in December 2014 and uh, another one in July 2015 when you were just flying up mountains in the tour was like uh, super kind of it's exciting but as Christian Nice actually said to me today it's also really great because I know a few people on the team already and that's makes the transition a lot easier so kind of what i was saying earlier about so many different new faces and people it, it's nice when you know a few a few people as well cool, cool. well there you have it guys uh teo all the best for next year <laughs>